Welcome to The Breakdown, where we cover all the coolest G2 action from the last three months. And boy, there's been a lot going on. Let's get started. After a successful regular season, our League of Legends team fought their way to the Spring Finals in an interesting playoff run. In the final, we faced rivals Fnatic in a battle for EU dominance. It was a swift 3-0 in our favor and we claimed our 7th European title, tying the lead with Fnatic for the most European titles. With MSI cancelled, players took the time to chill and recharge. And of course, no offseason would be complete without a fresh lane swap as Perks and Caps shuffled their lanes again. The competition looks fierce with Split, but we have some aces up our sleeve ready. After dropping out of ESL Pro League Season 11, the boys were looking for revenge, and they got it in the first phase of ESL Road to Rio. We made a near-flawless run to the finals just to get 3 by Astralis in the last series, in typical G2 fashion. And this happened. G2 will take the ninth here, and he'll recover the AWP in the meantime. Oh, they haven't started defusing yet? Yeah, they're fine. Should be fine. Should be They've fine. They've probably got the tunes and, on. And Kenny picked up a defuse kit as well in transition, so... What looked... Oh. Wait. Oh. They haven't won it. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah. Oh. Road to Rio was followed by DreamHack Master Spring, where we made a clean sweep right to the final. Yet again, though, we truly showed our incredible choking potential, and even with a veto and one map advantage, still managed to get reverse swept by Big. Despite losing two grand finals, we finally achieved number one HLTV for the first time in D2's history. D2's two-week era will be remembered forever. Off the server, we produce a bunch of fun content that you can check out on our YouTube channel. In other FPS news, our Rainbow Six Siege Super Team took second place in Season 11 of the European Pro League. This is a great start for such a new team, and they are aiming their sights high for this season as we compete in the inaugural GSA League and R6 Europe League, which kicked off in June. We've been testing out some innovative strategies and fragging our way through both leagues. There are many more game days to go, so be sure to tune in and support the squad. The Rocket League team has had a busy and dominant couple months. We took the top spot in RLCS Season 9, soaring back to the top from our last place finish in Season 8. From there, we boosted our way to win both Season 1 of the Astronaut Star Circuit and the Rocket League Spring Series. With our great run in RLCS and winning the RL Spring Series, we were able to make the top spot in Liquipedia's world ranking. Although the boys are in off-season, we've played some smaller tournaments and the team has been streaming and creating content. We hope to bring even more Rocket League pieces to our YouTube soon. Here at G2, we all love Valorant, especially Carlos. That's why we're taking any chance we can to play it. Members of our League of Legends and CSGO team took part in Valorant Tryhards, a friendly competition with Origin. It didn't go our way, but hey, we tried. Then we've hosted three Valorant tournaments, the European Brawl in partnership with Stream Heroes, the European Brawl 2 presented by PaySafe Card, and we had the honor of hosting the flagship Riot tournament, the Valorant Ignition Series, with support from Red Bull. We saved the best news for last. In June, we announced the formation of our Valorant roster with Mixwell as the captain. Mixwell returns to G2 after two years to build the best team and win worlds. So far, we've brought in Pith, Patatech, and Artis. We have one more player yet to be announced, so stay tuned! This quarter, we welcome a new sim racer to the crew, Arthur Kramer. After joining G2, he and team manager Nils qualified for the finals of SRO Barcelona. Following our recent partnership with BMW, we got a slick new car design that our racers will be using to rep G2 in upcoming races. Be sure to follow the at G2 Sim Racing on Twitter for the latest news and races. The ever fashionable Tohai certainly had us dazzled in and out of the server. In addition to showcasing his modeling talent, he also played games for the kids in the Gamers Without Borders charity tournament, taking home $35,000 for the International Medical Corps. In June, we also announced our collaboration with Veritas Entertainment to open the home of G2 at the Level facility in Berlin. At Level, our R6 super team will have everything they need to conquer Europe. Level will also serve as a place for our fans to hang out, attend viewing parties, and support G2. On our social media channels, we reached 300,000 followers on TikTok, 800,000 on Twitter, and almost 1 million on Instagram. Thanks, G2 Army, for your continuous support. Thanks to our priceless partner MasterCard, we created a dedicated G2 Army face mask with proceeds going to the charity and their emergency aid fund against COVID-19. 
Crowds are also roaring with delight in France and Germany as we reintroduced our French jersey and presented a brand new German one. We rolled onto the LEC Spring Final stage rocking one very cool new partner on our jerseys, BMW. They truly helped us feel like an Ironman as we 3 0 the LEC Spring Finals. Ensuring that we arrive in style to sweep or be swept in finals, we're excited to welcome BMW as our automotive power. Together with our partner Nice Cactus, we've put together a Rainbow Six tournament, giving the winner the once-in-a-lifetime chance to compete against G2's very own Rainbow Six team live on stream. We're also excited to announce an exclusive European collaboration with NVIDIA and our Rainbow Six team and content creators. Together, we'll show off the power of NVIDIA and prove that frames win games. If we could stop bottom fragging, that is. The LEC Summer Split continues after a player break week. We were happy to welcome Doublelift, Slayer, Pinoy, and moving forward will continue to bring out the best entertainment independent from the roster playing. Our Rainbow Six team is back in action, and you can catch their EU Pro League matches and GSA games in the coming weeks. We'll be excited to see our Valorant team in action in the coming months and to see the return of our CSGO and Rocket League teams to the server. Don't forget to follow us on social media so that you never miss a game. 2020 has certainly been a year so far. Don't you worry though, we have much more stuff in store for our fans and rivals. Thanks as always for your support, G2 Army.